All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Silver, Silver Spoon, Spoon Season 2, Episode, episode three. 3. We All have right. a puppers. We have a little wee doggo. A, a will guy that will help pay for, well, himself. You know, yes, he will pay his own way at this school. That's dog right. Dog. He pulled himself up by his bootstraps after a bit of education from Hutchkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have to put the story on pause or anything. He mm, just, he just, yeah. he just struck out. That's uh, right. And, uh, Made some scratch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> He's doing what he can. Uh, he woof like you to uh, please uh, mm. support him. Mm. You know. Yep, yep. It's a uh, tale as old as time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so while we are kind of busy wagging ourselves off into the weeds over here, mm -hmm. uh, we also still have the drama going on uh, yep. between uh, Aki and Ichiro. So right. that's its own um, but deal there. Gumaba was able to at least have a good talk while not talking about it with Hachiken. So yep. that's good. That so good. now we just, you know, need the other person to do that too. Yep. Aki, it's your turn. Your yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah, but meanwhile, there's also the freshman war on the horizon. Whatever that means. <laughs> means death. <laughs> means death, you'll violence. Need to, you'll need to rally your soldiers, uh, Hachiken, because mm -hmm. you are currently the captain of this... Uh, uh, this uh, 14th, band of the hawk, <laughs> four, 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 14th, yeah, 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 exactly. This, this 14th, uh, uh, survey con legiment, you know. <laughs> we just, we just cold open with Hachiken having, I don't know, something and then just looking at like other enemies in the war and just being like, I sacrificed them all. <laughs> I don't know. So, do you believe in the farm animals? <laughs> yes, yes, mm. yes, but y'all, without further ado, let's get into this now. Oh, just a oh. little bit. Oh, baby. Boom. <laughs> nice. Sure. Mm. We have a cool side? We have a cool side? We have a cool side? We have a cool大丈夫です。馬を信用しなさい。よっしゃ。一発かっこいいところ見せるぞ。行け。マロ。止める。俺は止める。いや。あ、あ、あ。なんで言う通りと合わないんだよ。they're all not really jumping at that much, though. They're kinda, no, it's a very they're kind of like, like a beginner. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, that feeling. Mm -hmm. Getting left behind, yeah. Yep. When you get a gutter ball on bowling and then have to turn back around to everybody else. <laughs> mm. Oh no, this makes it even worse. Yep. Either you just suck, or he just doesn't like you. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Yeah, well, you never, you never uh, built that relationship, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the worst feeling, yeah. But this is not that environment. Yeah.映像の際の出し物をするにしたって自分がうまくならなきゃいけないのに俺絶対マロマヨと相性悪い違うマロンじゃなきゃダメってどういう意味だようん説明できるけどできない言葉で説明しただけじゃ上っ面の理解しか
一人じゃできない競技なんだからパートナーのことも考えなきゃダメっしょそのめんどくささがまたいいっしょいやうんあれそういえば見かけってさ素だと方言出るのか<笑>うん何えっとさうち小中と山奥の小さい学校だったから恥ずかしくて高校では周りに合わせてちょっあ笑ったひどい見かけてそういうの気にしないタイプかと思ってたから私は恥ずかしいの気にすることないってしょうもないコンプレックスだな楽しそうだよ<笑>お前ら付き合ってるとんでもございませんお前秋に気があるんじゃないのか実はあります<笑>てめえあうちの娘に手出そうとか考えてんのかあるわけないじゃないですかてめえ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>で迷子になってた時に迎えに来てくれたし、馬術部に誘ってくれたり、定鉄のお守りで励ましてくれたり。父さん、また八犬くんいじめてるの？いや、いじめてねえって。お前ら仲直りしたのかなと思って。あ、うん、いい争い、深刻そうな顔。二人で見かけの実家。またもや不条理性こういう。<笑>角にがうり、別名キワノトカツノ。ふ<笑>ふ<笑>、お前じゃ。<笑>今日も乗馬クラブ見学しに行っただけだし、な、もう仲直りしたよな。え、あ、うん、そう。<笑>なんだ、つまんねえの。ボーリング。まさかりかぼちゃ。中谷まさかりでなければ割れないくらい硬いかぼちゃ。寮生活って、知らず知らずのうちに、誰かにフォローされてるんだよ。It's like you know, you're all in this together. ああ。いい加減の方言コンプレックス笑っちゃったけど、俺もいい加減この気持ちをどうにかしないと。うんうん。大丈夫だ。マロン。俺一人じゃ飛べないから、フォロー頼む。<笑>そんなすぐには死にませんハチキンマロンの背中にくっついてうわっはい、ドゥザジャンピングハチキンマロンすげえお前やっぱすげえ馬だよ<笑>自分で気づき、体を張って掴み取った信頼はパートナーとの絆をより深くしてくれるでしょうね<笑>でも落馬したから失権ですああ就活と絡めて馬を自分に合わせるより自分を馬に合わせるって教えてくれたのにすぐに気づけなくてすいませんでしたあ俺そんな大層なことやったっけ<笑>なあもう俺は就職できるなら何でもいいから早く決めたいのこれ、いまだに馬が好きかどうかわかんないんだよな。でかいし、臭いし、扱い難しいし。けど、経験したことない景色を見せてくれるのは、yeah. なんか燃える。あ、ハチケン learns to trust a little bit. Yep. Lean on other people.、Mm-hmm. In this case, not people, but horses. Horses. And given that Aki is going through her own stuff right now, yeah, maybe it's good to also trust her a little bit with this and that this is、uh, her own thing that she's dealing with. And、yep. when it's time for her to be ready to trust you with the information that's being kept in there, she'll bring it up or, or she won't. Or she won't. Yeah. You'll just have to wait and see.、Uh-huh. But in a lot of ways, it's easier for her to trust you if you show yourself to be trustworthy. That does have a logic to it. So,、yeah. in a lot of ways, if you're able to handle your relationship with your horse pretty well by showing that you can trust the horse,、uh-huh. given her connection with horses in the equestrian club, I think that might have some way in which、mm-hmm. it goes hand in hand because of the way in which she uses the intimate relationship of horse and rider to、yep. be a way in which she can、um, be、uh, free or at the very least safe from.、Yeah. Uh, 
the emotions and turbulent kind of stuff she's got going on internally. So the emotional back and forth yeah. is is therapeutic for her at the very least. At the very least, yeah. yeah. But I think it's a little bit more than that. I think it's mm -hmm. also developed a little bit of a thing where she keeps her true self hidden because she's using things like the horse and the equestrian club as a way to vent it out and get that kind of And so then she doesn't need to actually deal with that with people because yep. horses are so much easier, yep. right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And in uh -huh. a lot of ways, they are, if you're sure. good at this. But some people, like Kachi Ken, grew up with the idea that, no, it's all on you. If you yep. don't get this right, you're you going to fall come behind home. and you yeah. don't come home. Yep. So go, 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 right. go, go, go. I, I love how much this ties in nicely with the sport dynamic as well, mm. because there is a very strong through line of um, sports where if you're not performing up to snuff, you just get cut. You don't sure. get put onto the starting roster. Mm -hmm. You don't end up getting the championship or what have you. But also you end up kind of getting ridiculed in general by the team, not in a direct harmful way, but in a way of like, oh, well, you know, you're not going to play the really important positions. Oh, you're not going to really be, you know, needed for this kind of thing here. Or, oh, we're going to sub you out for this kind of thing here. So the fact that this is a sport, uh, effectively, where mm -hmm. you are closely knit to one other entity, there is no separation. There is no ridicule nope. there other than, no, just you guys need to develop your relationship. And as mm -hmm. you do, your performance will increase. This It's that simple. Yep. The, the whole, like, theme, and or not really theme, but the um, thing that it's exploring through the medium of horse riding uh -huh. um, very much reminds me of the second season of uh, uh, Sangatsu, okay. where it's the, like, oh, you know, the, the, the kids that basically have a bad experience with relating to their peers, and so then they're at the place where it's like, hey, well, let's start you with animals, right? Figure out how to, how to build that emotional sure. bond with animals. And then that way, hey, you can you can deal with all of the dysfunction yeah. that that you've had to take on, and then now maybe you can then like get along better with with your mm -hmm. possible friends, you know? Right, right. And we get that here, and it's it's great. It's really good. Yeah. But all in all, it's a pretty simple episode. Yes. It's Hajikin learns to trust yeah. Aaron. Right. Ha That's Hachiken basically has, the whole episode. He has a thing that he doesn't know how to do, and that helps him learn a, a valuable lesson. Yeah. Cool. There was some cool stuff with Aki in there, but it mm -hmm. was more of just Hachiken kind of realizing the ways in which he can apply the things that he learned here to the stuff with Komaba and yeah. uh, Aki. So, yeah. In yeah. some ways, I feel like the, the last few episodes of season two, or, well, the first, you know, the first few episodes, right, like contrasting them with season one, because Hotchkin is in a healthier place emotionally in general, even though he still has stuff to work through, it makes it feel less like stark, you know, mm. of like a ah, this there's what's, we're, what's so important that we're for, focusing on. You know? Right, right, exactly. Because it's the this is still important for him to learn, mm -hmm. but he's actually doing pretty good here. So you know, it's yeah, more of like a yeah. it's it's a much more specific thing than just a general like. You know, sure. I, I do think I do think, yeah, that you can be specific, though, and have the conflict still be a little bit less repetitive and um, sure more, more more contained. Uh, well, no, have more progression within the episode beyond just the one conflict. Mm, I think it's sure. also that in general, um, Silver Spoon episodes tend to have a bit of a kind of like a not a split, but like a, a little bit of like a ah, we're very clearly adapting more than one chapter. Of sure. Manga here, and I feel like this is one where I kind of got the entire gist of what the conflict was going to be about in the first three minutes of the uh, yeah, and episode. like well, so it felt like it was right. meandering its way to get there. I just think my favorite part about it is the fact that Aki and Hachiken had such an explosive kind of uh -huh. over the whole thing because that reveals a lot in the way that uh, Aki's still dealing with this exact same lesson. Right. With regards to trusting people. And it does and feel relevant. something that she got so upset about because she's projecting a bit. Sure. Yeah. And given the context of the conflict that they had earlier on in the season, right. then it, it makes a lot of sense that, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but like that's, of course, that's a way you know, it can tie in, but. if your horse is being a, almost like a, a person a diva. that's oh. like, like, yes, a diva, but also just literally like acting like a person and stuff like that, it's. It's a little bit of a thing to stretch the disbelief of, oh, 
a horse actually like this. I'm sure there are horses actually like this. But it, then it's also the, oh, uh, yes, the issue is actually not the horse, mm -hmm. Hachiken's own right. internal attitude and emotions and stuff like that are pushing this onto the horse, and that's why the horse responds in this way. So this, there this, we go. Maron feels like a more uptight version of like Maximus from Tangled, right? Sure. Like he's he's the white stallion with the golden mane and everything that yeah. is kind of a super horse. Right. Right. Um, and so, yeah, of course, it, it has nothing to do with the horse actually having an issue. Maybe that would have been something that might have meant, like given it that that bit of extra fun, like like edutainment aspect where it's sure. like, ah, this, this actually is very realistic. Right. This is a thing that the horse is having a problem with. Mm -hmm. And because you're too focused on yourself, you yep. can't actually help the horse like sure. with this like thing that it's struggling. Yeah. With. I don't know. But yeah, but yeah. all in all, pretty, pretty straightforward episode. Yep. Pretty regard. chill. Um, we had the dad back. I uh, really Aki's like dad the dad is, this episode. Is wonderful. Yeah. I love anytime he gets to be involved. He is kind of beating the same joke into mm -hmm. the ground like well, a dead horse. But and yet a lot still. of it was Hachiken also just imagining like, wait, mm -hmm. if I say that, he'll be like, how dare you? And then if I, you know, say that I'm not into her, then he'll be like, what? Isn't she cute enough? Oh, totally. When actually, totally. he's just like he like it seemed like he was about to say something that was going to be like really helpful to Hachiken. And then, nope, interruption. <laughs> it's like, Right, oh. but by asking him if they're dating, that shows also that he would know whether or not... Uh, There's Komaba potentially and, something there. Well, Komaba and Aki are not dating. That's true. So you can That's kind of true. logic your way to a mm -hmm. pretty interesting conclusion Minimum, here. they're not dating now. Uh, correct, yeah. yes, yes. I do mm -hmm. think they give that vibe of exes that mm -hmm. are just generally amenable, but it's the... Hey, our right. family's tried to push us maybe together, and sure. we didn't want that. So or now we're we were so out in the boonies that like, like we were yeah. some of the only people around each we other's age. So naturally, we would our have... parents literally tried to arrange us from that standpoint. Well, and... well, or just at some point, we would have also wondered like, is that something let's we want to do? Yeah, yeah, let's try this, and then you know, true, true. figure out if they they're not into it or it didn't work for some reason. Well, or we'll see, but... we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.